Hey crazy loves, today we are going to do some swatches on the Revlon Color Stay Not Just Nudes palette. And as you can see, this palette has 10 colors, 5 top, 5 bottom. And I'm going to take you through some swatches that will specifically be arm swatches with a makeup brush. I'll be swatching with the MAC Makeup Brush 239 and I will have a light coating of eyeshadow base. Um, I'm using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer. So as you can see, this is the first one. It is the number one Passionate Nudes. And then, of course, we will also swatch the second one. And as you can see there, those are the O2 Romantic Nudes. And those are a little bit more rosy in tone, if you will. So, let's just dive in, see what the color payoff looks like, and um, give you an idea on if you want to purchase it or not. So I'm just going to start with the top leftmost uh, color shade. Um, of course, this is a drugstore palette, so there is no shade names, but I'll do my best to give you a description. The first one is a lighter color. It's more like a satin, and as you can see, it has um, some specific glitter flecks in it. The second one is a little bit more purple toned. Very smooth. They seem to be very, very smooth. Similar to the first one, but again, a little bit more purple tone in there. It's definitely a satin, and you're getting less of the uh, glitter flecks in that one. The third one is a more orangey color in the pan. Seems to be coming off a little bit more golden on camera but it is a little bit more orangey color in the pan, definitely a satin as well, but that would be a great um, crease color. The third, or excuse me, the fourth one is a little bit darker and we're getting more into of the bronze colors. This one is a satin. Looks like the color payoff on these are pretty nice. So you see that one there. The fifth and last one on the top row is a silver. And that one seems to be nice. And I'm just dipping in a couple times and swatching them again on top of um, a light eyeliner, or excuse me, a light primer. So that's the top row. Now to the second row. The first one, to the left is a darker brown, and it looks like it would be more of a matte color in the pan, and it certainly is giving us more of a matte color there. Did you see that? The second one looks like a satin light pink. So now that I'm swatching these, these have a lot more lighter colors than darker colors, definitely, and you can definitely see true um, glitter flex in that one. The third one is yet another matte and the second other matte in the palette. Looks like there's only two mattes. That one at first swatch is a little bit light, but it does seem to be buildable. It's a little bit more of your darker mid-tone brown there. The fourth one is going to be a shimmer. Oh, and this one is really shimmery. And the color payoff is not as it looks in the pan for sure. You can see how much product is coming off on the brush. Or, or yeah. But do good. It could do well, depending on how you use it. And of course, the last one would be the darkest shimmer in the palette. Mmm, 
pretty nice, decent, definitely a satin and not a shimmer. Um, I really like that color. So I'd have to say that color is, is definitely a winner. Out of all of them, I think I like that one and I like the coppery burnt orange one the most there. But there we have it is the full 10 swatches of the Revlon. This is the second palette, which is the, or excuse me, this is the first one, which is the 01 Passionate Nudes. Okay, now to the second palette, which is the O2 Romantics. And again, no shade names, but starting with the top left color is a light satin pink. That's pretty, that would be definitely a pretty highlight color there. The second one is going to be a little bit more of a burgundy satin. And again, these shades seem extremely buttery upon use. The third one is going to be more like a pewter satin. Mm, that's a nice color. I like that one. The fourth one looks like it'll be a matte more like a taupe matte maybe a little bit of satin in there but more so a taupey matte the fifth and last one is going to be more of a rosy pink and just for reference I don't think I've said this but I am a MAC NC45 that one's pretty. All right, moving to the second row. The first one is a satin, kind of a brownie, purpley satin color. The second one is going to be more of a rose pink satin. And these definitely seem to be lighter than um, the first palette. That one is actually pretty. I really like that one with the pink tinge. The third one at the bottom is going to be a matte brown. The fourth one is going to be a light kind of light pink but whitish color satin doesn't seem chalky which is good actually pretty nice and last but certainly not least is going to be the purple and of course this purple is a satin And as always, these are swatched, again, over the Lorac eyeshadow primer. So there we have the second palette. The complete lineup, all ten shades for the Revlon Not Just Nudes 02. So hopefully this gives you some ideas on the color payoff. Uh, this, of course, is not a full review but seeing if this is something you would be interested in. Thanks so much.